Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I went from black to this nice cranberry red with no bleach. Please get into this hair. Please get into it. Get into it. I love this color. It is so, so cute. It is just so nice. It was a very simple method. It did not take me long at all to color the hair. So if you want to see how I did it, keep watching. So what you're going to need is the hair. Mine is from Allie Grace hair. You're going to need a blow dryer, a detangling comb, a comb to part your hair, a denim brush, plastic knives, brushes to apply the dye. You're going to need the L'Oreal high color highlights dye. I have three in red and one in red high. You're going to need got to be blue free spray and gel 40 volume developer, the L'Oreal quick blue bleach, hair clips, gloves, mixing bowl. You're going to need some foil, some purple shampoo, and then regular shampoo and conditioner. Once again, this hair is from Ali Grace Hair. It is the straight texture, 18 inch, 150% density. And I am going to be filming a review video on this. So you guys should check it out when it drops. So the first step is to bleach the knots. I find that bleaching the knots before you actually dye the hair is more helpful, especially because we're going to protect the lace after this. So you're gonna get two scoops of bleach and you're gonna put that into the bowl first. So now you're gonna add in the developer. I just kinda eyeball it. I don't have a set amount. You just wanna add it in little by little. The end result is that you want it to look like cream cheese spread, like bagel spread. You don't want it to be too thick to where you can't apply it, but you don't want it to be too thin to where it kinda like bleeds through to the hair. But if it does, it's okay because I am gonna be dyeing this hair. But if you want a detailed video on how I actually bleach the knots, you can check out the link in the description box below because I did create a video on that. But you're just gonna keep mixing it until you get that right consistency. By the way, make sure you're wearing gloves because you are working with chemicals and if this bleach touches your fingers, it is going to burn for a very long time. So make sure you have on gloves. Okay, so now that I have the consistency that I want, I'm gonna start applying the bleach to the lace. You wanna be really careful not to press down when you're applying the bleach because you do not want it to bleed onto the hair and dye the roots. You only want it to dye the lace. Also, you wanna make sure that you're covering all of the knots because if you forget the knots in the front or on the part, you're gonna to have to go back and you're not gonna to wanna to do that because it takes a really long time and it could damage the hair if you keep bleaching it. So be really, really careful that you are not pressing down and that you are covering all of the knots.
okay so now that we're done this is about how much bleach i had left in the bowl and i'm going to leave this on for 25 minutes and you want to check it periodically now i'm washing the bleach off with purple shampoo and then i'm going to go ahead and wash the hair with the paul mitchell shampoo and i'm going to condition it with the paul mitchell super skinny conditioner So now it's time to protect the lace from the dye. So you're gonna take your Got To Be Glue gel and you're gonna start evenly applying that across the lace with your plastic knife. Don't put a thick layer because if you put a really thick layer, it's going to take a really long time to dry and you're gonna to have to let it dry overnight or you're gonna to have to blow dry it for a really, really long time. So just put a thin layer and then you can let it air dry for about two hours, come back and it'll be dry. Once you let the gel dry for like an hour, you can come back and spray the Got To Be Glue Free Spray over the lace. And this basically just secures the gel and kind of hardens it. And then you can let that air dry again, or you can go in with your blow dryer like I'm doing because I was in a rush. And I did blow dry this for about 30 to 40 minutes just to ensure that it was really dry and hardened before I actually flip it over onto the plastic. So once you put on your gloves, you're gonna start pouring in the dye. The first one I'm gonna pour in is the red hot dye. I was really confused on why it was white when it came out of here. Like I was really, really confused. But after I poured in this first bottle, there was a smaller bottle that said intense red. And when I poured that in and mixed it, it became like a nice red, so I guess. But I poured in that one first and then after that, I poured in the three red color dyes.
I'm now gonna pour this 40 volume developer into the mixing bowl and I filled it up to the very, very top. And then I poured the entire bowl into the bowl with the dye. And after that, I ended up pouring the rest of the 40 volume developer into the bowl with the dye because there wasn't a lot in there left anyway. So I went ahead and poured it in. So for this style, I did use a full bottle of 40 volume developer. I used the entire bottle between bleaching the knots and mixing the dye. There's not really a certain consistency, I would say. You just want it loose and you want enough. The more dye you use, the more intense the red color will be and the brighter it will be, depending on how long you leave the dye on the hair. But you just wanna make sure that it's mixed so that there's no chunks and no bubbles. You just want it really, really mixed. Like, mix pretty good. So now I'm applying the dye to the hair. I basically sectioned the hair off into small sections. I really did them by the rows of the tracks. I did like two rows of tracks at a time. So I already did the bottom row. So now I'm on the second row. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure the hair is detangled. So you definitely wanna comb through that if there's any naps or whatever. And then you'll apply the dye. So you're basically just gonna dip your brush into the bowl with the dye and then put it right on your hair. When you're putting it on the hair, you wanna make sure that you're covering all of the hair. So make sure you are getting at it from all angles. You can lift up the hair, do what you need to do, brush through the hair, open the hair up, literally do what you do to make sure the dye is getting all over each strand of hair because if you don't, there's gonna be patches of black hair and you don't want that. So make sure that you're getting it all throughout the hair. Work it into the hair. So as you can see, I'm still applying the dye and you see how much I actually have on it and you see how I'm going all the way to the roots and I'm getting a denim brush just to make sure that it's worked in throughout the hair. So now I'm going to use some aluminum foil to help the hair process quicker while I finish dyeing the rest of the hair. I finished the back of the hair off camera and I just wanted to show you guys the front because as you can see, I accidentally did get some dye on the lace right there. So you wanna be really careful in the front not to do that. It wasn't a big deal for me because that was a part of the lace that I actually cut off around my ears. So it wasn't noticeable at all, but you still wanna be careful in the front even if you protect the lace 
because if you get a lot in one spot it's gonna stain but if you just get a little it'll come off because you did protect the lace but just be really careful So once again make sure that you're opening up the hair like make sure you're getting it in between the hair you do not want these big black spots especially in the front like you want to make sure the red is evenly throughout the hair. Also make sure you're getting the dye at the roots near the part because you really really want to make sure that this red looks like it's coming out of your scalp. So make sure it is getting on the part but not on the lace. So this is the final product with all the dye and I did take those smaller foil pieces off so that I can put it all on together. So I'm now putting foil all over the head. I want the entire head covered with foil so that's what I'm doing right now. And yes, I did use all of the dye. You could be better off with five boxes of dye versus four because I was running out of the end, but I made it work. I did leave the dye on for five hours. I left it on for five hours and now I'm rinsing it out and I'm gonna go in and wash it with the Paul Mitchell shampoo and conditioner. So this is how the hair looks wet. I'm now just combing through it. As you can see, there is no dye on the lace and I'm just detangling the hair. And right now it looks a little dark, but that's because it's wet. But once I start blow drying it, you're gonna see that it's a lot brighter. So at this point, you can see how bright it is and that it's a nice cranberry red. At this point, I did notice that I did not want this hair to be 18 inches. This is when I decided I wanted to cut it into a bob, but I went ahead and flat ironed the hair after this just to make sure that I really wanted to cut it into a bob. And I, in fact, did. So that's why I cut it into a bob. But this is how it looks flat ironed. It looks really, really nice. The color is very cute. hair turned out i really like it it's a nice cranberry red the hair took really really well to the color and remember this is ally gray's hair it took really really well to the color and i'm gonna give you guys a 360 view so that you can see it in the back too i did cut this hair into a bob because i wasn't feeling the 18 inch i don't like when stuff is mid back on me it's either to my waist or it's a bob like there's no in between not up for discussion literally so i cut it into a bob this was my first time cutting hair 
period let alone in a bob it took me like four hours to cut it that was probably the hardest thing of this whole little hairstyle it took me like four hours but I managed to do it somehow some way it looks decent it's not the best like if a hairstyle is it it would have looked way better but I think it looks okay so yeah that is gonna wrap up this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video turn on the bell and I will see you guys next time bye guys